I am joined by Mark and Mark from Canary. Uh, welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank Tell you us for a having bit us. About the business. So Canary was built about three years ago to help uh, individuals build their online presence. Uh, since then, we've found an opportunity within the enterprise to help executives, sales teams, and, and leaders of organizations build their online presence within the context of the brand and their ultimate goals. And why create the business to begin with? We saw uh, it. it the idea came about three years ago when our CEO and founder, Bamparina, and I worked together at a, another agency, and uh, we saw the, 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 the tools and the information that brands had on individuals that individuals didn't have, didn't understand. So the original intention was to build a technology to give these individuals the tools and the data that was out there about them to give them greater control over what was there and what people found about them. Okay, so perhaps on that, you're one of the founders. What made you join Canary? Um, I actually, I met Bant Breen, who's the CEO, prior to joining, um, and he was, you know, I extremely knowledgeable about the space. Um, he told me a little bit about Canary, and I thought it was an amazing idea. I thought of the scale. I kind of actually looked outside um, my window where I was, and I thought all these people walking, running, um, driving to the places, like, they need... You know, they have an online presence. They have a digital footprint. They need this. Um, and the idea just kind of blew me away from doing that. So um, I, I was in social media marketing beforehand and decided to join the company after kind of having that epiphany and speaking with him, Bant, who's um, extremely passionate about the company. And uh, it was a, it's been a great, it's been a wild ride and a great fit ever since. Very cool. So you guys are in digital. So arguably you're already on what's coming next in technology. But if you were to make a prediction over the next seven to 10 years, what is the next big thing? What is the opportunity we're going to see in media? Wow. A nice easy question to start you off. That's a great question. Yeah. Um, give me a second to think yeah, about it. Um, I mean, I think you see the rise of you know, things like Periscope and Meerkat. Show, li being able to join events, people live remotely. And I think there's something there, um, in, whether it's those two, one of those two apps that do that or another one comes along. Just further connecting everybody in the moment, in real time, and, and allowing them to engage and experience the same thing, whether they're here or 2,000 miles away. And then there's actually two things that I kind of see big. Um, the whole connected homes thing, which has already kind of been around, but I think that's going to become much more in, in the masses. So now it seems like tech geeks have these, you know, smart appliances. I think in a few years that's going to be, you know, super common. Everyone's going to have like a smart home and smart appliances. And the other thing is with Uber and some of these other companies that are kind of empowering the individuals to go out there and do their thing. And um, I think brands are going to, th that's going to be going on much, much more um, towards towards that model. And brands are going to try to figure out ways they can leverage these individual, whether it's like the individual Uber taxi drivers, they're, them having their own business and Airbnb and how that works, figuring out a way how to empower all of them to tell, to be a brand advocate and tell the brand story. You can learn a lot about a company from their website and they're about us. What will I not learn about Canary? What weird, wonderful and wacky things might I not know about Canary just by reading your About Us section or contact us on your website? We're pretty, we're pretty transparent. I think we try to tell everyone uh, what we do. Um, I think what may not come across is you know, really how hard we all work. We try to have a you know, culture of fun, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're there all day, every day, whether we're in the office or at home, working all the time. And I'm sure every company says that, um, but it maybe doesn't come across <laughs> on the website. Um, yeah, and I, I guess to add to that, um, I think the knowledge of our leadership team, which you probably can notice on those sites, but if you do even more digging around, you'll see it's really remarkable, our leadership, leadership team and their experience and knowledge. And also our, our um, other director of, solu of, of account solutions is a nickname machine. I don't know if that's on the website. <laughs> and he will come up with a nickname for anyone. It's amazing. It sticks right away. I think so. it is on the website. It might be on the website. Not sure, but... Oh, worth, me, worth mentioning. Where are, the, where are the offices now? So we are located in uh, New York City, uh, Murray Hill, uh, 32nd in Lexington. And, and where's the ambition? How many? Where in the world? Come on, when are you going to explode and grow and become a global we're, business? We're already starting to talk to people in Latin America and uh, it's exciting Europe down as there. well. Yes, it, it is. It's a little bit different, but uh, there's something there. Um, so this year, there may be some expansion into Europe as well. And we'll see. We're going to take it... Uh, as necessary and as the opportunities arise. So when we have this conversation in a year's time, we say we've got 10 offices across the globe. That's what we're heading for. At least. At least, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your time, guys. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you very much. Thanks.